Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video with a recent update into the wood that makes our fourth update in the Grounded game. And recently they've uh, just surpassed 10 million players on the game, so they're offering a free Steam weekend right now. So it's a perfect time to get into the game if you've maybe thought about doing it or if you have some friends that have already been playing it and now this is your chance to get in there and play with them. So we're going to go over just some uh, tips and tricks for the first day of jumping into Grounded. So let's get started. So obviously you're going to start in uh, single player, you're going to go new game or multiplayer if you're playing with your friends. The first thing you're going to want to do here is uh, select what game mode you want. Now they do have a new one called custom where you can customize everything you want. We've covered this in a video before uh, where you can just go through this. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to assume that we're just going medium mode, which is basically your average. So you have mild, medium and well mode. So medium is right in the middle. You're going to pick your characters. Uh, this is all just personal preference. They don't have any uh, special abilities or hey, anything like I'm that. Willow. Willow so branch. we're just going to go ahead and pick Willow here because I've not played her yet. So we're going to jump right in here. Now the game does have a little bit of a tutorial right at the beginning, but it doesn't cover a lot of the other stuff that uh, that you're going to have to realize when you jump in. So we're going to cover like what insects to avoid, what insects to look out for, and what you should be doing right when you jump in. All right, so here we are. And you can see over here, we've got a uh, little icons in the bottom left. Cave nightmare, my favorite. And we already well, have the uh, version. Is it endless cave, bottomless pit, and possibly claustrophobic passages? So Willow's done talking there for a second. So you see down here, we've got our little uh, our little meter. It's the scab. So the scab is a bracelet. It's going to show you that the the green bar is your stamina, the red bar is your health, the blue obviously is your thirst, and then the uh, little piece of chicken wing there. It looks like is your food your hunger. So one of the first things you can opt to play either uh, first person or third person. Typically I play third person because it uh, just gives you a better idea of what's going on around you. So if you know the story a little bit, you're shrunken down, you're a kid in the backyard, just like the Honey I Shrunk the Kids movie. So we need to figure out what's going on. So you want to run. definitely a new nightmare. So Not you're walking around, nightmare. you have your WASD, sure? use your mouse if you're playing on I'm PC, awake. or if you're using a controller, um, you can run and walk. So walking is just going forward. Shift will help you run. One of the first things you want to do is everything you come across, pick up. Don't ever drink the nasty water. And you're going to see kind of your uh, your surroundings here. So we have the, uh, the house. You can see the backyard. Obviously, we're tiny. So like I said, just pick up everything you can. And now we're going to start the uh, tutorial aspect here. You can climb on branches, run through little valleys and stuff. You're going to see a lot of different resources right here. The, the important part is, like I said, to analyze these. And I'll show you guys how to do that here in just a second. Another key uh, thing you want to do right off the bat, you see this giant Ooh, baseball? Good thing I wasn't standing there when that landed. And it says right there, you discovered baseball. So the game does have POIs or, uh, you know, points of interest or landmarks they call them in the game and that's going to actually help you uh during the game the more you uh explore and the more landmarks you find it's going to help out with some of your mutations so we're not going to go over mutations in this video but just give you a heads up on uh why you might see that so it's going to tell you to track the signal to its source so you can see right up here we have a little uh a little waypoint basically showing us over to this little tent looks like a medical tent so let's head over there and see what's telling us field station so you discovered a field station. So now it's going to give us uh, some more things to do. All right, so now we're here. Interact with the resource analyzer. So we see this right here. That's unpowered, so we can't do anything with that right now. So you look around. This is the resource analyzer. So this is something new, uh, I think, with the hot and hazy update. There must be someone in charge of this science experiment. But I haven't seen any signs of anyone else. So you're going to see right here. There. Keep me guessing. Okay, thanks, Willow. So this is a resource analyzer. Select a valid resource for analysis, and it shows the time right here. You have three charges on each field station, so each time you use one, it's going to take some time before you can analyze again. So you're going to cl uh, click your item right here. You see these little uh, exclamation points? That's going to tell you the rarity of the item, so red is going to be common. I think blue is uncommon, and then you have like purple for rare or something like that. So the first thing we're going to need is some weapons and tools, right? We don't want to be defenseless out here. So we're going to pick our uh, pebblet here. We're going to go ahead and hit space and analyze it. 
So what it's going to do, it's going to give you new recipes and it's also going to reward you with uh, 30 raw science for a common item. So now we can actually craft a Pebblet Spear and a Pebblet Axe, which is super useful. A Pebblet Spear is going to be a weapon and a Pebblet Axe is going to be one of the tools that we can use in the game. So now we see our brain power right here. We're at level 0, so we need 45 more to hit level 1. So now we're going to analyze some uh, plant fiber. Do the same thing here. And if you don't want to watch all this, you can hit escape to skip. So now we have crude rope, fiber bandage, and plant slurry. And again, 30 more raw science. So go ahead and get one more. Let's look at the sprig. Go ahead and skip that. Now this one, we've unlocked a spiky sprig, which is another weapon. One of the key things here is the roasting spit. And I'll show you why here in a minute. Uh, we also have a trail marker. These are really useful. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that as well. And you can see now that we are out of charges. Our next charge is at 9.07 a.m. And it's only 8.36. So the time is going to go by pretty quick. You can see that. So we have uh, about 30 minutes before our uh, before we can analyze something again. But we do have some recipes now, so let's go ahead and uh, check out what we can do with that. So this is your inventory. Um, if you're on PC, you're going to hit tab. It's going to bring up your inventory here. You can see all this. So this is what's going to be on your character right here. You do have a hot bar down here. Uh, this is your raw science total. And again, it's going to show you your stamina, thirst, hunger, and health up here. Your status here, you don't have anything here yet. Your biometrics, your mutations, uh, we're not going to talk about those yet. So get into craft. So you have different uh, tabs here. You have tools, material resources, consumables, storage and utilities, and decor. This one over here is just going to show you every resource that you've gathered. And then uh, it's going to give you an idea of what recipes they're used in. So these ones right here, you don't know those recipes yet. But we know that a sprig is used in all of these other ones. So let's go to tools. We have our pebblet spear right here that we can craft. We don't have a spiky sprig. We need thistle needles and uh, crude rope. So right here it's going to show you the yellow ones is what you already have. And uh, the ones in red and orangish brown right here are ones you don't have yet. So pebblet axe, we need crude rope. Which you can go to material resources right here. And it shows you crude rope right here. So it takes three plant fibers to craft one crude rope. Doing it this way. So let's go ahead and make some uh, crude rope. All right, so now we've got four, so we can craft our Pebblet Axe. So now we used all our plant fibers for crude rope, so we need a couple more to get our Pebblet Spear. So you'll see them right around here. Very easy. Click on those. Bam, bam. Now we can craft our Pebblet Spear. So now we have a weapon and a tool. Pretty cool, right? So now in your hotbar, it's going to automatically throw these in here. Once you have a lot more items in your inventory, it's not going to auto automatically uh, fill up your hotbar. But because we don't have anything, it's going to go ahead and do that. So now we have an uh, axe. And you can see down here, it says grass, chop. So you can actually use your axe to go ahead and chop down the grass. And you can see for every action you're taking, it's going to lower your stamina a little bit. Makes sense, right? You're expending energy to, uh, to uh, use your tools and weapons. So now we have some grass planks. So I don't think we can analyze anything yet. Oh, we can. We've got one. Let's go ahead and analyze the crude rope because that's uh, going to give us better things. So now you can see analyzing the crude rope is going to give us a bow. It's going to give us a shovel, an eye patch, a pebblet hammer, and a canteen. Analyzing the crude rope is going to be one of your best early uh, decisions you can make. And now we hit level one, so we've leveled up. And now we've unlocked the clover armor. So we can go ahead and do that. The first thing you really want to do on day one is get weapons, armor, and uh, get yourself a little outpost set up. So right now we do have our pebblet hammer. We need one more sprig. These are your sprigs right here. So boom. Now we have a pebblet hammer. Let's look at canteen. This is where you're going to store water, obviously. We need grub hides. Those aren't around this area, so we can't get that yet. An acorn shovel. Acorn shells. We don't have those near us yet. Sprig bow, we need gnat fuzz, and sprigs. So we'll get in some of the uh, smaller insects that you're going to see real quick. Right here we've got an aphid. So aphids, gnats, weevils, uh, red ants. Okay, that is definitely not normal. Now we needed some clovers, right, for the clover armor. So we chopped these down. It's going to give you uh, the three clover leaves per... Her clover plant here. So then you see this thing right here. So this is called the mysterious machine. So we need to investigate it. We also need to find food and water. So water. 
You're gonna find um, dew drops hanging from grass. You're gonna find soda cans that have soda. You're gonna find juice boxes that have some juice in it. So we can see some gra uh, some water up here, but how do we get to it? So one of the easiest things you can do is just come over here. You don't even have to use a weapon. Just take your weapon out and you can hit it. It's gonna knock the dew drop down. At least it's you clean. You just drink it right there. Ish. So now we got some water. Now we need to find and eat some food. Now you saw us pick up some mushrooms earlier, right? So this early area and the honeydew here, the early area is going to have a lot of mushrooms around you. So first day, maybe second day, you're going to want to stay around this area and just explore everything around here. So mushrooms you can eat. So it's going to tell you right down here, consume. Good thing I'm hungry. So you can eat one. They don't refill your food or your hunger a lot because it's just a snack. It's not a full meal, but it is going to get you by because there's a lot of mushrooms around here. So we're going to eat a couple of those, get our hunger back up. You can see it going up in the top right there. Or maybe you can't because my camera's blocking it. But you can see it down here now. Our hunger's uh, pretty much filled back up. So now we need to investigate the mysterious machine. And again, we discovered another landmark right there, mysterious machine. You're going to see that over here. You go to data. So these are all your tabs up here. Craft, obviously you have the map real quick. Quests, these are your active quests right here. And these are ones that you've completed. So we're just working on the uh, the tutorial basically. You go to data, products, this is your scab. That's what I was telling you. It shows your stamina, health, hunger, and thirst. We can click here, go to paces, places. So these are all your landmarks in the grasslands. So the grasslands is a pretty big area. So it's basically encompassing all of this here where the grass is, makes sense, right? So we've discovered the baseball, the field station, and the mysterious machine. So investigate the mysterious machine. Obviously, you see a blinking light. You're a little kid in the backyard. You're going to press stuff, right? The worst thing that could happen. So now Looks we press like that. Happening. Well, that was anticlimactic. Looks like the other two P1, lasers P2, blocked. P3. Okay, so we have lasers. Okay, so this, this laser looks like it's working, right? Something's up with this one. It's kind of working. And we see this one, it's blocked by this grass plank over here, this grass, grass blade. So we're going to go over here and cut this one down. Okay, so now that one's no longer obstructed. Nice, right? So now we have to find whatever is weakening one of the lasers. But before we do that, I want to get back into crafting some armor. So we're going to go over here, go to our gear. See an eye patch right here. One of the biggest things you're going to have to worry about early on is not having really any defense. So this provides no defense. It's going to increase your attack, but you see right here your damage resistance is going to lower too. So no defense and it's going to lower your resistance to damage. Now you see this little icon over here. So we didn't have these on any of these weapons over here. So right here it's going to tell you requires workbench to craft. Now you go over to recipes over on the storage utilities. We don't have a workbench yet. Same thing with the clover armor. So how are we supposed to get that? Again, like I said, with analyzing everything, just run back and forth to the uh, to the field station over here, and analyze as much as you can. Pick up everything on your way early on. You're not you can't have too many resources, so just pick up as much as you can. Bring it over here to our field station. All right, we can analyze three more things. Let's go ahead and analyze this grass plank. This gave us a lot. So now we've got grass walls. And it also showed a workbench right there, which is what we're looking for, right? So let's analyze some sap as well. And we have a plant lab, sap sconce, and a torch. A torch is going to be pretty useful. It's going to have nighttime in this game, right? Analyze this aphid. One of the other things right here, aphid slippers. So we've unlocked a lot of stuff right now. We don't really know what to do with it. So let's take our grass planks here. You can carry five at a time early on, and there's going to be ways that uh, you can carry more, but I don't want to spoil too much. I just want to get you guys some basic beginner tips just to uh, get you started with the game. So when you are exploring, you're a little bit more prepared than you would be uh, without these tips. So again, picking up and analyzing everything is going to be, uh, be the way to go. Okay, so we do kind of need a little base. Um, your first base, I wouldn't make it too extravagant. I'd just make it a little outpost where you have a workbench, maybe a place to sleep, a uh, roasting spit that we have now, so maybe we can cook some food. And uh, we'll just start with that. So we do have a workbench, so three three grass planks, four sprigs, two sap. So we're going to go click space to construct. And I'll tell you early on, you're going to want a place that's a little bit off the ground, just to keep away from the insects. So, okay, so now we have that. 
what can we do with our workbench now? We can make a clover hood, a poncho, aphid slippers, and clover shin guards. So you can see over here it's going to tell you a little bit about the item. So this only provides half a block of defense, but it's going to give you this bonus right here, fuller. So what that's going to do is that you're not going to get hungry as often. The food that you do eat, it's going to keep you fuller. Makes sense, right? Let's go ahead and craft our clover hood. Oh, we need some more clover leaves and some more crude rope. More clover leaf, crude rope, and sprigs. So we're going to go ahead and gather some more of that stuff. Like I said, everything is easily, readily available for you right around this area. So just gather, 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 gather. You're basically just playing a uh, gathering game right now. So we've got our axe. Let's chop some more clovers sitting right here. We still got our tutorial quest there to analyze the uh, or figure out what's going on with one of the lasers over there. So we'll do that in a second. Just want to make sure we get something on our body. Even if it is just a half a bar of defense, it's better than none. So let's see. Can we make anything else? So we've got our hood. Go ahead and throw that on. We need crude rope. So we need... We can make 11. Nice. That's what I'm saying. The more you're gathering, by the time you get back to your workbench here to craft stuff, you'll have enough resources to do it. That way you're not running out, getting stuff, running out, getting stuff. Just go run around, get a ton of stuff, bring it back here, and then just make what you can out of it. All right, so now we got a ton of those. Let's make our poncho and our shin guards. Nice. You'll see here aphid slippers. It's going to tell us we need two raw aphid meats and mite fuzz. So we found an aphid. We killed one, but we don't know where mite fuzz is yet. So let's go ahead and throw our armor on here. Is there anything else we can make? Didn't we get a torch? We need three dry grass. So obviously the dry grass is going to look a diff little different than your grass, your healthy grass. Your grass is going to be green. Dry grass right here. You can just run up the things and see right here, dry grass. Let's go ahead and chop this down. One, two. Only gave us two. Always pick up these aphid honeydews because that is a source of a stack too. That's going to refill some food and thirst for you. Not much, but it's better than nothing, like I said. So, All right, we've got five dry grass chunks now, and we don't need a workbench for this. So these you can craft on the go, just like all your weapons. If they don't anything, if you don't have the workbench icon here, you don't need a workbench to craft it. So now we've got a torch. That's going to come in handy. We've got a full set of armor. We do have some weapons. We have a spear. You go ahead and start setting stuff to your, uh, your hotbar wherever you want it. Move this over here. I'll actually put you here. Okay, so now we have our spear. Should be pretty good. Okay, so now let's go back to this machine and check out what's going on. So those two lasers are good. This one's finicky. So looks like we're going to head over this way. See if we can go to that laser and find out what's going on with it. So you're going to be pretty safe early on in this area. There's not going to be many insects that are going to be a threat to you. A lot of them are going to be kind of passive. The aphids, weevils, gnats, and stuff like that. When we get over here, you're going to encounter your first little aggressive insect. We talked about mite fuzz, right? That's what we need. So you can see a mite right there. These guys are going to jump at you. Easily just move out of the way real quick, and you can kill them. Could be an issue if you run into too many at a time. Oh, it looks like they're chewing on the laser here. Maybe that's what's weakening it. All right. Let's go see if we kill them, if that's going to do anything. Alright. A couple more there. There's a dead one. There's a free free resource right there. Uh oh, we got some more jumping at us. I'm going to kill these little guys. They seem to be causing a problem over here. Alright, so this is going to be our first little cave, so we're going to follow this Give down in here. And that's why you want the torch, so you can kind of see what's going on. So the torch is going to be in your offhand. You still have your weapon here. If you're using a one-handed weapon, you can carry something in your offhand while you uh, have that. There are two-handed weapons, and we'll get into that here before too long. Let's make our way down here. Uh-oh. Oh, took our first hit. Just stabby stab stab away at him. Some more guys over here. Uh oh, did we do it? 
All right, investigate the mysterious machine further. Now, before we do that, you see this uh, quartzite down here. We do have a hammer, so we can go ahead and bust this up. Quartzite is going to be one of the most important resources in the game uh, from the beginning to the end. You'll see here we keep running out of stamina because this hammer is pretty weak and quartzite's pretty strong. Something's blocking this little area, so let's beat this up and see what's back here. These you can take too. They're not going to do, do too much for you right now. But again, like I said, gather everything you can, analyze everything, because it's better to have and not need than need and not have, right? You don't need everything all the time. If I don't need some shelter, I bet some horrible insects will come around and eat me or something. That is a potential problem there, Willow. You're correct. So let's get in here. Again, there's a little bit of quartzite in here, so you'll want to take all, all you can. And the resources are going to respawn about every three in-game days. So these will respawn. This is not one-time stuff. There's only a few items and locations that are one-time. So this right here is going to be your first scab that you find. Now a scab, we'll get into it. Let me get this quartzite real quick, and I'll show you what that does. Discovered a scab scheme. Alright, get this quartzite. So we're going to go ahead and hit tab to bring up our inventory again. Go to OS, like Operating System. Around underneath us. So you can see here we have a scab flavor scheme. So all these are going to do is change the uh, design and color of your UI here. So we go here, we have scab night, we have high contrast, we have scab LCD, and we have Might Rider, the one we just unlocked. So you can see it just changes the color. So I'm just a little customizable option for you. It doesn't break the game. It doesn't change the game. It doesn't give you any added benefit or anything like that. They did say it's sitting late, so we need to build a lean-to, which is going to be our little bed. Looks like we need to craft fiber bandage. Before we do that, we're going to jump up on top of this laser. Come over here. Now you do want to be careful, because there are going to be some insects over here that you don't want anything to do with right now. Let's make our way back over there now. But we're going to make one little pit stop right up here where this uh, little twig is standing out. Always grab the sap. The sap is going to be used in a lot of stuff as well. Uh, in particular, early on, your fiber bandages that it's telling us to craft. So let's grab that. Now this little plant right here, right? It's got all the thorns on it. These are going to be your sprigs, your thistle needles. So we're going to grab a couple of these. You can see all the little uh, thorns sticking out. Just jump up. Wouldn't grab too many. We'll grab maybe 20. All right, that should be good. You can see our water, our thirst is getting a little low, so just keep your eyes peeled, look up, and find these dew drops. If you can't reach them, I you mean, can always jump up and get them too. Water is. So there we go. Looks like our food's getting a little low too, so instead of picking these up, you have an option to nab them or consume them. So we're just gonna hey, go ahead and hold or our action I button. I which is just going to eat them right there. That way we don't have to pick them up, put them in our inventory, and then go into our inventory and eat them. There we go. Hunger's looking good. All right. So we need to build a lean-to. So we've got our little rock outpost here. Let's see if we can build our uh, lean-to. So let's go to storage and utilities. Lean-to, we can. Three clover leaves, two sprigs. Pretty simple. You'll see when you're building some stuff, it's going to say location obstructed or too steep. So it doesn't really matter where we put this. As long as it's blue and then you can craft it so right now this new sleep system is you can't sleep um, you're gonna automatically sleep for eight hours so if we go to sleep right now at 5 30 or whatever we're gonna wake up at one o'clock in the morning we don't want that you want to avoid the dark as much as possible especially early on so we're not gonna sleep yet but we are gonna reset or uh, set our respawn point so this way if we do die from something we're gonna respawn right here so we go ahead and set that if you don't do this you're gonna respawn where the uh, game begins at the um, the little container where you wake up from. All right, so now we've got a lean to. It says craft a fiber bandage. We're going to go to consumables here. Fiber bandage. Three plant fiber, two sap. Let's go ahead and make that. Okay. Now we have a fiber bandage. This is going to be the way to heal yourself. So if you do get injured, use a fiber bandage and you'll heal yourself up. All right, so now it's going to tell us to investigate the uh, mysterious machine further. Looks like all the lasers are working order. So now we're going to go ahead and activate and see what happens. Let's see. This is going to be your first little cinematic of the game and you'll see where this is going. Uh-oh. 
I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. That Something just blew up. More dramatic than I expected. Yep. Okay, so we just saw an explosion. So we're going to go investigate that, but we're not doing that. We're still on our first day, so we're going to stay around here and do some preparation. We're going to need a way to uh, get some food more regularly than just hunting mushrooms. Let's analyze some more stuff. Let's analyze some mite fuzz. So now we have arrows. Super useful. Don't worry about this other stuff. More brain power, more raw science. Let's, uh, let's analyze this quartzite. Repair tool. That's going to be used to repair your weapon, or your bases, rather. Let's analyze these, uh... Let's see. Let's analyze the dry grass. What's that going to do? Stem pallet and plank pallet. Again, that's going to be used for building. You can cut down stems. Um, you can cut down the grass. That's what you're going to use for your building materials early on. So you can see this is a stem right here, right? This is a husky weed. But see, it's got the Roman numeral 2. That's going to be a tier 2. So you need a tier tool, tier 2 tool... To cut those down let's see what our pebble axe is tier one it's going to show you right here so we need a higher tier tool to cut that down interesting okay so what else because it is getting a little dark what else can we do right now i'm gonna give you one little hot tip right here so you see this little uh this little area this little circle on the mysterious machine we have mushrooms we're gonna go ahead and drop one right here now i'll show you why in a second because when we do go ahead and craft uh, our little barbecue here, our roasting spit, we need one more dry grass. Let's go ahead and grab that. The brown grass again, right over here. Go ahead and grab some dry grass, and now we can craft our roasting spit. The roasting spit's going to be used for the uh, aphids, the weevils, and uh, stuff like that. So those are going to be actual meals. They're going to replenish your hunger a lot more than the... Uh, than the snacks like the mushrooms and stuff. So you can take raw aphid meat, raw weevil meat, raw gnat meat, throw these on here, and it's gonna cook. Only takes a few seconds. The issue is uh, the red ants that you might have seen walking around here, they will go after this food. And if it's too low, if it's accessible to them, they'll steal the food right off the spit. So what we're doing is putting this little mushroom here is hopefully gonna attract some weevils, and then the ants are gonna go after the weevils instead of going after us, or going after our food, rather. So it is getting a little dark here. We're going to pull our torch out. All these little sticks over here are going to have some uh, sap on them. And again, a lot of the resources are going to respawn. There's only a few that will not. So picking up everything we can around here. And one of the best tips I can give you as well is to use your ears and make sure you're listening to the sounds. Because if something doesn't sound right or if, it sound, if it's a sound you haven't heard before, chances are it's not going to be friendly especially at nighttime. So let's gather, gather, gather. So we've got a spear, we've got an ax, we've got a hammer, we've got a torch. Is there anything else that we can make right now? Let's hop back up here, check our uh, recipes. Let's see, oh, we have the spiky sprig. And now that we got those thistle needles, we can craft one of those. And look at the pebblet spear. So this is one-handed. The damage is only one bar, but the speed is gonna be, uh, what's that, seven? So it's a lot faster. Spiky sprig. Is going to be a two-handed weapon, but it's twice the amount of damage. Another another whole uh, box here of damage, and it's going to provide a stun, but it's super slow. We're going to go ahead and craft that as well. Can't craft a crap canteen. We need grub hides. We don't know where those are. Can't craft a shovel, acorn shells. We do need some gnat fuzz for a sprig bow. But we can make some arrows as well. Let's go ahead and make some of those. We'll see if we can find any gnats around. There's another uh, aphid. We completely missed them. So if you miss the aphids, you'll see what they do. They run up on top of the grass here. If you want to get them down, go ahead and cut the grass down. They'll fall. It looks like you went and ran up another one. Yep. Now we fell down in that one. Not worth it. Okay, so we're going to go over here because we are a little thirsty. That's not so bad. Jump up, get some water. Let's see if we can find some gnats around here. It is getting pretty late now. It is after 8 o'clock, so it's officially nighttime. If you saw the, uh, the night mode kicked on. So I think that's a pretty successful day one for now. Um, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. So we're going to go ahead and go to sleep and let you guys see how that plays out.
So we're going to click on our lean to here. Caution, you'll wake up in the dark. We're going to wake up uh, in the morning. So you're always going to sleep for eight hours. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and get into I'm day pushed. two. Should we call it a day? Yep. So you can see when you sleep, your hunger and thirst is going to go down pretty significantly. So we do have our aphid roast here, which hopefully is not spoiled. It's not. So this right here, this little circle, that's going to start uh, decreasing. And then your food's going to spoil if you don't eat it in time. So we're going to go ahead and take this roast. That tastes surprisingly not terrible. I'm going to eat that guy. Now we need some water. So again, keep your eyes peeled. Looks like there's some water right up here. We'll jump up, get that. All right. So now it's early morning. We've got our food and we've got our water. We're good to go on day two. But that's going to be for the next video. So we're going to do a few more of these just to kind of get you guys a, uh, a little tips and tricks on the first couple days to get started. Because I know when I first jumped into it, it was a lot of just trying to figure stuff out on your own. I tried to not look at videos, but we're going to try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. We're not going too much into the story. We're not doing too much. Just want to get you guys set up with your weapons, tools, your outposts, food, and water, and stuff like that. And then we're going to send you guys on your way. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We've got a ton of tips videos. You can check them out on the channel. And then uh, we do live stream pretty regularly. So hop into one of our live streams if you have any tips or questions that you have there we got a great community that can help you out as well so thank you guys so much again for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video so take care of yourself take care of each other and stay original my friends later